All right, hello everyone. We are out on a night, what's your night ride? We're not riding a fat bike. We're riding essentially a electric 29er. But it's more of a commuting 29er. 700C commuting bike with uh, 38 tooth big rig and a 1134 night speed cassette. Bike came with 40 millimeter tires, but it'll accept like 2.3, 2.35 tires. So that's what we have on here right now. We have 45 Norris nicotine, studded nicotine. It's been super cold here, so I'm sure most people heard about the polar vortex that was came through northern states and much of Canada so it lasted about a week so all this snow is hard as rock but we're getting a little bit of snow tonight it's only supposed to be a couple centimeters so it shouldn't cause us a problem hopefully not we're not riding a fat bike so we're gonna go up uh, Current River, well, the Centennial Park, Trowbridge Falls, the Cascades, and turn around. We're doing this at night because we don't have to deal with people. The biggest issues in the trail system we're in right now, and the ones we're going to, is people and dogs, and people with dogs not on leashes. So. Just completely avoid that by going in at night. The only thing we're going to run into is wildlife and fat bikers. Maybe around minus 10. Yeah, so we had really our only cold snap of the winter. So now we're into the first week of February and the cold snap has ended. And that was our only cold snap of the entire winter so far. So it may actually be our only cold snap. It's be pretty sweet because last winter was pretty freaking harsh. Just cold. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see the pics from the temperatures that I dealt with on my way to work coldest morning I dealt with was I think minus 27.5 we've had colder mornings but they've fallen on the weekend so I didn't have to ride to work in them okay so leaving one trail system we're gonna go into another one so we're leaving what people call the LPH trail system Lakehead Psychiatric Hospital a big psychiatric hospital that's now completely closed. Huge green space behind it. Now we're going into the bluffs. So there's some tire tracks, pretty recent. And they're on this side of the road, so they might actually be in there right now. So the one issue with this bike and what we're trying to do tonight is it doesn't have really easy climbing gear 38 tooth ring with 34 on the back and then 2.35 inch tires it's not an easy climbing gear it is electric assist but it's a Bosch active line which is uh, only 250 watts to put this headlamp to Max power here. A little bit of extra light. Great. Now we're in the bluffs. Bluffs is in cliffs on our left. But you can't see there's a cliff 
runs along for a kilometer or so and then there's a lookout that you can drive to up top great view of lake superior and sleepy drive bridge park lots of great pictures you can take up there and the fat biker's tire tracks didn't come in here looks like he climbed up and probably went into shinya mines which we're not going to go into this trail's reasonably well walked in so we got two like two centimeters of snow last night we're supposed to get another two centimeters tonight shouldn't be problematic uh, for us even though we're not on a fat bike i got my rear tire quite firm but the front tire has a decent amount of give we're climbing up to a high point and then gonna drop down so no other tire tracks up here since Maybe even today. Definitely not since it starts snowing. It'll be interesting to see if we run into any other riders. This thing has a suspension fork on it, but it's just like a rudimentary coil, coil spring fork. I don't think it has any sort of oil damping or anything. If it ends up breaking on me, I think I'll try and put some sort of rigid fork on this thing. I think even, actually I've done a couple of videos with this bike. I did one where I rode it on the electric power and then I did one where I rode it not powered at all and I think I still managed 28 kilometers an hour on it. We're not going to average 28 kilometers an hour even under electrical power. Here. This is the main trail up the river. Any tow trucks? Yeah, there's a fat biker in here right now, I think. Oh, they're right on that other side of the trail. Maybe they were going the other direction. We're going like 20, 21 kilometers an hour, but. 23 24 that feels fast because it's way faster than i'd be riding through uh, through here under human power not that walked in and i guess it's sort of the polar vortex so we're going to actually lower tire pressure a little bit make a difference. If someone came through here with quad or something bigger, kind of ruined the trail. I think this is actually, used to be part of the snowmobile trail. I'm assuming it still is. Because of them, this, a couple of these bridges were built. Yeah, some four-wheeled vehicle came through here since the last time I was in here. Kind of ruined things a little bit. Beautiful. is one of the more beautiful sections when there's snow on the trees.
It's a little bit bad now, but when it's all snow white on the trees, it's amazing. ends up being absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so we got a couple tougher hills to deal with. Hopefully I can ride with this thing. When you gear down on this thing it like Slows down. Okay, that was the easy one of the two. So we've lost one bar in the battery. Down for 39 minutes. It's on 11 kilometers. Mostly uphill on the way here. On the way back, it should be mostly downhill. It's gradual downhill since we're going down river. Okay, this is the biggest hill we'll have to deal with. Or the hardest, not the biggest, but the hardest. And we made it. Yeah, this thing gives a decent boost of power climbing. It's 200 watts. The 250 watts nominal. There's really somewhere that it gives you maximum of high 300 something. Breathing hard. They said I'm out of shape. Before the polar vortex, I did a 13 hour week, so I was like, that's decent. I can keep doing that or a little bit more, but then polar vortex happened and that all went out the window. This road to and from work. I'm pulling into the parking lot here. and uh, take batteries and the GoPro.